Good morning, gurus. Welcome to another episode and a beautiful sunrise. Hope you're having an amazing day or morning and had or a good sleep wherever you are in the world. We're going to jump in the charts for Bitcoin. Tesla is going to have its earnings report um, tonight or tomorrow morning. Um, the stock has not been doing good. It broke that 170 support and it's come down to 140. Yesterday, I bought more Tesla at 140 which is beautiful. Hit the subscribe button, smash up thumbs up button, turn on the bell. Let's jump into technicals for Bitcoin now. Going to technicals for Bitcoin. I'll do Bitcoin Tesla today, going to the earnings call. Um, all coins up a little bit, ton down, Tesla down, IDEX up 4.5%, BNB 4%, IOTA 3.4%, Bitcoin 2.7%. On the weekly charts on Bitcoin, Stochastic turning back up again. Volume still strong. Is this the third to fourth corrective wave finished? We don't know, but it finished last week's candle yesterday. Finished with a hammer candle, as I explained in yesterday's video. So that's a very good um, technical indicator. Japanese candlestick indicator. Crypto Guru Bot, which you get in the Crypto Master master course still blew by from february 2023 it's still showing a blue buy from 20k till now hasn't flipped to a red cell let's go closer on the daily stochastic oversold turning up strongly volume coming in buying volume coming in we got big bounces off this 59k 59k is the mate the real price of bitcoin as i've been saying for a few um for a while it looks like it's going to the top of the channel on bitcoin you can see that it's forming this symmetrical triangle so you can see bitcoin is doing this symmetrical triangle and building pressure like this with a breakout going into august um the trade that we activated at at 60k did really well if you followed my twitter i added to my spot and i added to my derivatives trades at around 60k if you haven't taken a trade where i would take a trade now is off major support um which would be i would say now here 60,700. that's where i would take a long off bitcoin target of 188k the top of the channel risk to reward so opens at 60,720 stop loss 60,325 take profit 788k risk towards 71 times risking 395 dollars to make 28 thousand dollars per bitcoin with no leverage with 10x leverage will be 280 thousand dollars profits um, opening at 60,720 that's the riskier trade the safer trade i'll take for a riskier trade i would do off weekly supports for it with a tight stop loss but this is riskier, so keep the both. Um, all trading is risky until you learn what you're doing. But this is a more risky trade to take, and then to catch this, just this bounce towards the top of the that channel. This is the riskier trade. Opening at sixty four thousand four hundred seventy six, stop loss sixty three thousand eight hundred, take profit seventy two k. Those are the two trades that I would take on Bitcoin. Um, yesterday I bought more Tesla uh, over on Bybit. You can see my Bitcoin trade. My Bitcoin trade, I've got two Bitcoin funding fee negative. So we've got a negative funding fee, everyone. So we're getting paid to hold longs open. I've got this two Bitcoin trade open, $7,300 in the profits, 69% profit, $7,300 in the profits, two Bitcoin. And this account, 641K, getting a big bounce off that six from 602 a few days ago to 640K. So I made 40K in the last four days, <coughs> which is beautiful. <coughs> Here I've got 250k USD plus 50k USD here. So it's around 300k of this 600k is just in cash. So 50% cash. Um, I've got 1.57 Bitcoin, 104,000 up 2%. I've got pocket 50,000 up 1.2%. I've got MCRT 47,000 slight up half a percent. Doge 34,000 up 1%. Rollcoin 34,000 up 1%. Uniswap up 6%. $16,000 of Uniswap. That's what I'm holding in my two Bitcoin trade. I've got more buy orders at 52K, 59K to add to my Bitcoin trade. And spot buyers, I've got buyers at Bitcoin at 59K, Doge at 10 cents, Uniswap at $4, Pocket at 0 0.09, World at $2.80, and Bitcoin at 52K. Let's see if there's any cheap cryptocurrencies right now. IDEX pump, BNB reaching new highs again, which is beautiful, coming to its all time high. Bitcoin 66,000 quite high doge 16 cents quite a big bounce back came all the way on the sell-off it came down to 12 cents on the sell-off on doge a big resistance on doge now is starting to form at 18 cents you can see there's a big re resistance and it's also a bull flag kind of forming on doge you can see a trend line let's draw it out 
There is a trend line starting to form here on Doge. Try to get as much touches on the trend line as possible. But you can see there is a pattern forming here. A trend line that, that Doge seems to be climbing or moving around, moving on. And it's got a resistance here. So it's kind of making a descending triangle, which usually plays out like this. Interesting. So big resistance at 18 cents and 22 cents for Doge. Ethereum 3200 making it back. Liquidated my trade, then bounced back. Ugh. Let's go into Tesla down 3.4%. I bought more Tesla yesterday. And if you've been following my videos, Tesla came down um, to my trend line that I've been talking about for a very long time. This white trend line. Let's make this main trend line blue. And let's get rid of previous supports that have now turned into resistance. We've got a lot of resistance lines forming on Tesla. A new trend line. So it's coming, creating a giant symmetrical triangle on Tesla. Let's make it yellow. So you can see Tesla reached 400. The, the peak was $412. And then that was in 2021. And then it came down, went all the way. We bought it here at 100, went down, went up to 299. Should have sold it here actually, and then just rebought here. But I've been rebuying Tesla at 170 and 141. Now, if 141 breaks, how low can Tesla go? Hundred dollars is a very strong support. Hundred dollars. So I'll buy it down as we go down. If it if it doesn't hold this trend line. On Tesla not big buying volume coming in so 101 is very possible if 101 breaks on Tesla 66 is next 101 and 66 um, let's see if Tesla manages to hold this major major trend line very important one on Tesla if you want to trade like you're seeing me do underneath the video go down below one is the exchanges I use Bybit gives you a thirty thousand dollar bonus when you use this link and use this one, $30,000 bonus on Bybit. Two is the courses. Take them all. If you haven't taken the courses, you're just gambling. So before you spend $300 on a stock or a cryptocurrency, make sure you take the courses to know what you're doing. And three, join us in Telegram. There's 9,000 of you, usually 100 to 400 of you online. Right now, there's 134 of you online. Jesper, he's an amazing trader. He's, he's teaching Wyckoff patterns um, in the chat room. He's talking about Wyckoff schematics. Um, people sharing, Jesper sharing charts. More charts from Jesper. James is James Bond 007 for crypto. Thank you. Multiple sec lawyers resign after federal judge sanctioned the agency for false statements and abuse of power in crypto case. Um, government starting to side with crypto. And you can just see people trading and talking. 134 of you online right now. That's my updates on Bitcoin and on Tesla. <clears throat> Hit the subscribe button. It's much more sunrise now smash up thumbs up and turn on the bell tesla getting hammered that just teaches you never hold on to anything it was time to sell at 300 and starting to buy at 170 140 would have been the best place to buy so even though i sold all my other stocks um two months or one month ago i sold all my meta which we bought at the bottom google which we bought at the bottom tesla which we bought at the bottom um tsm they made massive gains. For example, Meta went from, I think, $88 to $500. Now, I've sold this, and I put it all into Tesla, and I'm buying Tesla as we come down. I bought at $170, and I bought yesterday at $140, $141. And if it comes down to $100, I'm going to be buying more. So now I've moved out of the stocks that already did the gains, and I've moved into Tesla, which has come down a lot, um, which is important. But make sure you don't buy it all at once. Ladder down, everyone, because you don't know. Don't catch a falling knife. Wait till the knife hits the ground, bounces a few times, and then pick up the knife. Love you all. Have an amazing day, and I'll see you all again tomorrow.